Hello everyone, this is Sudhir and welcome to my class. Now in this video, I am going to explain how to divide the prime factorization. So before going to discuss this prime factorization, you must know about what is a prime numbers. Because in the previous classes, I have explained the, the total concept of the prime numbers. So one more time I am going to repeat. The prime number is a number which can be divided one and itself. That means here I am going to write up to 20 prime numbers. That is 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 4 is not a prime number because we can write like 2 twos are 4, 5, 7, no 9 is not a prime number because 9 we can write as 3 into 3 that means it has a more than 2 factors. So 11, 13, 17, 19, so on, still we get it like this. So just I wrote up to 20 prime numbers okay. So prime factorization means the given number we should divide by using these numbers, these prime numbers, okay. So one example I am going to take that is 120. 120 is a number. So how to divide into the prime factors? Now I am going to explain by using the prime factor 3. And you know 120, so you can get it the table like 12 tenths. Now how this 12 can be divided? That is 2 6 and how this 10 can be divided? 2 5. In this, this 2 is a prime number but 6 and 5. Okay, 5 also is a prime number but 6 is not a prime number. So, this 6 can be divided again into 2 3's. So, you can observe here the final we have the prime numbers that is 2. Here is the 2, this 3 and here is the 2 and 5. So, this 120 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now, this 120 we can write in the exponential form also. That is, check it here how many 2's are there. Yes, 3 times. So, we can write 2 rise to the power of 3 into 3 into 5. Now, let us discuss with another example. That is, I am going to take now 48. So, you know how we can divide the 48. That is, we have a different type of number like 6 8's we can write, 12 4's we can write. Correct? So, now I am going to take 6 8. You can observe here either 6 or 8 is not a prime number. But we can divide into the prime number. The 6 we can divide into the prime number. How? 6 we can write as 2 3's. Now the 8 we can write as 2 4's. How this 4 we can write again? That is 2 2's. Because 4 is not a prime. Now look at here. What are the prime numbers from this list? 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. Here this 2 is another prime, here is a prime number, this is a prime number. So how this 48 we can write now? That is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 4 times. And 3. So how can we write this one in the exponential form? We have total 4 times of the 2 so that we write 2 to the power of 4 into 3. Now, the one more number I am going to take that is 75. And you know the 75 we can divide like 15, 5, And again 5 we can write as 3 5's because 15 is not a prime. So you can observe here 3 5 and this 5 also a prime numbers. So that we can write now 75 as 3 into 5 into 5. That means its exponential form is 
3 into 5 square. Now, let us discuss the same prime factorization using the division method. Now, I am going to take the same number that is 120. Now, how to divide this? Now, we should use the divisibility rule that is the last digit is the 0 so that this number is divisible by 2. So, 2 6 times and take a 0. And one more time, the last digit is here 0 so that again this number is divisible by 2. 2 3s and zeros. So, the last digit again it is 0 so that it is divisible by 2. 2 15 times. The last digit is 5 so that this number is divisible by 5. 5 threes. Look at here the 3 is the prime number so the division should be end here. Then how to write this 120 into the prime factors? That is check it here how many 2's are there 1, 2, 3. So we write it is 2 into 2 into 2 and after that here we have a 3 take that 3 and this 5 so what about it exponential form that is we have the 3 times here 2 so that we write as 2 cube into 3 into 5 the next one one more example that is the same example 75 so how to divide it into the prime factors the last digit is 5 so that the division you should divide by 5 5 once 5 and from 7 minus 5 it carries 2 here that means 2 5 25 so 5 5 is a 25 so let us discuss one more time this 75 I am dividing by the 5 so you know that 5 once 5 and it leaves here 2 now bring down this 5 so that 5 5 is 25 the remainder is 0 so that 15 I have written here so the last digit is 5 so one more time we can divide by the 5 that is 5 3 is 15 so how do we write this 75 now that is 3 5 into 5 3 into 5 into 5 so what is the exponential form of this 75 that is 3 into 5 square and the next number is just I am going to take that is 110 so as per the divisibility rule the last number is 0 so that we can divide by the 2 because 2 is the prime number so how we can divide it it's take 2 5 10 so from 11 minus 10 from 11 minus 10 it leaves 1 so you can take that 1 here so 1 0 10 again 2 5 are 10 so the last digit is 5 so that it should be divisible by 5 5 ones 5 ones so finally 110 the prime factorization of 110 is that is 2 into 5 into 11 the next number I'm going to take that is 112 so how to divide it into prime factors so as per the divisibility rule the last digit is 2 so that it should be divisible by 2 so how to divide it the first two digits are 11 so it nearest to 10 that means 2 5 10 so 11 minus 10 it leaves 1 so take that one here now 1 2 it is 12 like 2 6 12 and the last digit is 6 so that it divisible by 2 again take 2 2 are 4 so 5 minus 4 is 1 so we can take that 1 here and 1 6 16 2 8 are 16 so take the 2 because the last digit is for 8 it should be divisible by 2 2 ones 
and two fours so again one more time two table here so take two sevens are 14 so when you have a doubt to divide this in the practice time you can take this type of number generally you can divide and 112 by 2 you can write like this so 2 5 times it is 10 it leaves 1 and bring down the 2 here 2 6 are 12 0 so that 56 written here and if you want to check one more time this 56 also if you want to divide by the 2 so take it here 56 and divide by the 2 so 2 2 4 it leaves 1 and bring down 6 here 2 8 is 16 so that I have written here 28 okay so the one more number I am going to take that is 144 with 144 we can check now this 144 the last digit is 4 so that it should be divisible by 2 at the same time by adding this 1 plus 4 plus 4 that is equal to 9 so it should be divisible by 3 also but better I am going to take now 2 2 7 is 14 and 2 2 are 4 similarly the last digit is again 2 so that I am going to divide by the 2 2 3 is 6 because the first digit is here 7 so we can take 2 3 is 6 and it leaves the reminder 1 so that 1 you can take here so finally the number you can consider as the 12 so 2 6 is 12 and here 3 6 36 right that means that last digit is 6 so you can divide by 2 or 3 plus 6 3 plus 6 equal to 9 so that means it is 3 3 is 9 so you can divide by the 3 so finally here 3 1s and 3 2s and the 12 is a number which can be divided by the 2 as well as 3 also so that 2 6 you can write similarly the 6 we write as a 2 3s so how can we write now this 144 can be written as how many 2s are there 1 2 3 4 so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 as well as the 2 times 3 is there so we can write 3 into 3 so finally how many 2s are there here 1 2 3 4 so we can write as 2 to the power of 4 and into 3 into 3 that is 3 square so this is called the exponential form so i hope you understood how to divide the given number into the prime factorization using prime factor tree as well as division method also so here is some questions to practice if you are interested practice these questions and comment your answers so this is sudhir thanks for watching see you soon